Hi guys, it's my final video. Yep, uh, this is going to be my final video for the college algebra tutorials. And I think it's fair that we finish up with the polynomials this round. Now I might make a couple other videos relating to totally different problems, but this is going to be my final college algebra. I hope you've had fun and, and, and learned something from this. Today we're going to be take, taking apart some of the uh, some of the polynomials through different uh, methods of doing so. Today we're going to do synthetic division. Now, first off, let's remind ourselves that a polynomial is shown in the generic form as x squared plus bx plus c. where a, b, and c are all coefficients, a cannot be equal to zero. Now, since synthetic division, instead of going the whole route of taking a, a proposed factor of x minus, I don't know, g, and putting it through the ax squared plus bx plus c problem, this time we're actually going to put it through a shortened version which will actually make it quicker to solve. And it just uses the coefficients. So it can be g and then to set up the synthetic division we make a line similar to the long division line but instead we put our a, our b, and our c on the line then immediately we'll bring A down, then multiply G and A, add these together, and then continue doing that till there aren't any more coefficients to do the process with. Here's a short, here's an example in today's um, big problem. x to the seventh minus 2x to the sixth minus 5x to the 5th plus 6x to the 4th minus x to the 3rd plus 2x squared plus 5x minus 6. That is a very long problem and if you want to do the long division it'll work. Go ahead and do it if you want but this is going to shorten this up so much more. Let's say we wanted to find a factor and we wanted to test something that we were given. For example, let's, let's test um, negative 3. So we set it up as negative 3, big old line, then put 1, negative 2, negative 5, positive 6, negative 1, positive 2, positive 5, and negative 6. We drop our first digit down, and that gives us negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Add these together to get negative 5. Negative 3 times negative 5 is 15. Add them together, you get 10. Negative 3 times 10 is negative 30. Add these together, you get 24. Or, sorry, negative 24. Negative 3 times negative 24 is 72. Minus 1, or plus negative 1, that's 71. Multiply 3 times, or negative 3 times, that's negative 214. And then, sorry, 216, 216, and then negative 214 is our answer. Negative 3 times negative 214 is 653. And then add them together, that's 6, sorry, 6, 648. And that becomes 653. Negative 3 times uh, 653 is negative 9, 
1,959 minus 6 is negative 1,965. What does this mean? It means this is clearly not a factor. If this were 0, then that would mean negative 3 is a factor. Because if you actually took a look at the expanded form, which would be too big to display on the screen, this is actually taking all the answers that you would get in long division. If you did x plus 3, or sorry, x minus 3 into this set, you get 1, and then you get the negative 3. This is the whole plus and minus and division area. Here, this bottom row, is all of your coefficients for the, the rest of the problem. But minus uh, one factor of the x. So this, instead of this being x to 7th down here, this is x to 6th. x to 5th, to the 4th, 3rd, 1st, or 2nd, 1st, then no x is your constant remainder, and this is your remainder for the whole problem. Another thing you should note, and that we're going to cover here, since we're uh, dividing by a negative uh, number, and since this is not equal to zero, the fact that the signs alternate from positive to negative to positive to negative throughout the whole thing states that this is going to be what's known as the lower bound or this is one of the numbers that defines how low the number can't be. In other words, there's a solution set, there's a point where none of the numbers less than a certain number will be equal, will ever be a zero and then there's a point uh, way above um, on the positive scale that can't be a zero. For the negative numbers if this all um, alternates signs like it is here this means it's one of the lower bound numbers. It's not the best one, it's not the point where it's going to but it's one of the numbers that you can't go um, lower than. So let's try something else ridiculous. Let's try 6. Okay, so let's put 6 here. And that means 6 times 1 is 6, Ta and then add the negative 2, that's 4, times 4, uh, 4 times 6 is 24, plus the negative 5 is uh, 19, and then 6 times 19 is equal to to 720 or sorry 7 sorry 114 then 120 6 times 120 is 720 minus 1 that's 719 times 6 that's well you get the picture. Now, since all these numbers inevitably are going to be all positive, and since we multi we're trying to divide by an even number or a, a positive number, anything if the whole row down here is positive, that means this is an upper bound. This is one of the numbers that anything beyond it will not work as a factor. It's not the best number, but it's one of the numbers that, um, that won't allow a zero.